I just want to go over a basic nail wrap application. If you're relatively new to Jamberry, this is great to just go over the basics, get you started. Um, and if you are quite seasoned or even would consider yourself a veteran, um, it never hurts to have a refresher. Okay, so we're just going to go. My nails are what we call naked right now. Sadness, we don't ever want naked nails. Um, but we're going to make them unnaked. Anyways, I'm going to show you um, what we're doing. And today I am going to be putting on the beautiful grapevine. So I'm going to show you how to put it on my thumb. But basically, first off, you're going to size it. And this is one of the um, important steps um, because you're going to have issues if the wrap is too big. So if you're ever torn, go with a little bit smaller, okay? But the clear backing lets you hold it up. It's flexible so you can bend it to see which one it fits on. And I've done this so often that I know automatically which one fits my nail, but you don't want it touching the sides of your nails. That's too big. The oils on your skin are going to get under the wrap and deactivate the adhesive. Okay, um, so if you're not sure if it's going to be a little bit too big, maybe it's cutting it a little close, just go the next, um, next size down. Okay, next it's all about prep. And prep, 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 prep is one of the most important things you can do for your application. If you skip any part of this application, it better not be the prep, okay? So we're gonna start, you're gonna push your cuticles back, either an orange stick, a rubber cuticle pusher, um, a metal cuticle spoon, whatever you have, whatever you prefer. Um, the rubber cuticle pusher and the orange stick come in our application kit and the metal cuticle spoon comes in our deluxe toolkit, okay? So you're just gonna push your cuticles back out of the way. Then you're gonna clean your nail. There are oils on your nail. We wanna get rid of them. We don't want them on the adhesive. Again, it will deactivate the adhesive. So we're gonna clean our nails. I have our um, nail prep cleanser. This is what comes in our nail prep wipes in our application kit. Um, but once you're done using those, this is what you want. It has a nice little pump top. So you just get like a cotton pad or a cotton ball wet and you're gonna scrub. And I'm not talking like, don't just rant. Nope, that's not it. I want you scrubbing side to side, get in all the sides of your nails, really clean your nails. This is the best prep to get your nails ready for your wrap, okay? Now, once we've cleaned it, we don't really want to touch it because if I go touching it, I'm going to put more oils on it that I just cleaned off, right? Um, so try not to touch it. If it happens, no worries though. Just clean it again with your prep, okay? And it'll be all good. All right, so now we are going to lift our wrap up off the sheet that we have. Now it's kind of same with not touching your nail. Don't touch the back of the wrap. So use your orange stick or your rubber cuticle pusher, or tweezers, whatever, but you don't wanna to touch the back of the wrap. So you're just gonna kinda of bend until, and kinda of help the corner lift up a bit. That's why these are flexible. See, and you're just gonna kinda of roll it up until you roll about halfway. And you're just using the orange stick, you're not touching the back of the wrap, okay? And then you're just gonna cut it in half. Scissors also come in our application kit. And you're just gonna cut it in half, okay? Again, not touching the back of the wrap. Then you're gonna heat it, mini heater. You can leave it on the entire time you're doing your application. I don't even know if you can hear this, but it's not very loud um, and it's definitely not forceful. Um, it's not going to blow things off the counter when you're doing your nails. Um, and it gets it gets warm to hot, but not intolerable. Okay, So we're just going to heat the back of the wrap. Three to five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Done. Okay? That's it. You don't need to heat it for a long time. Then you're going to place it um, close to, but not touching your cuticle. Okay? And you're just going to tack it there. 
tack, okay? So it's just sitting there. Now we're gonna do the one, two, three part of the application, okay? This helps get you a good seal all the way around and gets rid of your bubbles that you might be having. So we're gonna heat the middle of our nail. One, two, three. Okay, it all works in threes. Then you're gonna press from your cuticle to your tip just in the middle, okay? You're just gonna go straight up. You don't have to be gentle. They're not gonna rip on you, okay? You wanna get a nice firm seal. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but on each side. One for the middle, two for a side, three for a side, okay? Heat, one, two, three. Now for the sides, you're gonna kinda go from the middle to like a diagonal up. Middle, diagonal, up, out, okay? Heat again, the other side, one, two, three. And then diagonal up to the top of your nail. Okay? Now, you're all on. Your edges are nice and tight. If you want, if it makes you feel better, go over your edges with an orange stick. Just push down firmly. If you do still have any bubbles, which this method should help you get most of them out, if you do still have any, this is the time to kind of heat and work them out with um, your orange stick, okay? Now we have all this excess wrap, right? That's not gonna look too pretty. So we're gonna get rid of some of it. Don't cut off all of it, but I cut off some of it to get the bulky part out of the way. Okay. Now we still have a little left on there, if you can see that. We're gonna file this off. Nail file comes in our application kit. This is a rough grit file. We do have um, our glass nail files, which are awesome for shaping your natural nail, and we'll use them to give you a smooth edge on your wrap. So we'll come back to this. Um, but for doing the initial getting the wrap off, I recommend our black um, rough grit nail files that come in our application kit. Um, you also get one in our True Shine gel kit. So we're just going to go straight down. Not up and down, not side to side, straight down. I like to start in the middle and kind of work my way out to the sides of the nail. You're using the edge of your nail as the hard surface to create friction to just get rid of the excess. And it's literally just going to file right off. See? Oh, a little snap. Okay. And that's my that's my piece that just filed right off. Okay? Now If you have any snaggy edges, which I don't really, but sometimes I do, um, but I also work really hard with my hands as, in, as a nurse, um, so I like to make sure that there's not going to be anything to snag on clothes or gloves or dishes or medicine vial tops or whatever. So I like to go back over it with our glass nail file to give a nice smooth edge but I do kind of more of like a 45 degree angle. This is totally a preference thing, so if you don't like the 45 degree angle, that's fine. You can still do this at a 90 degree angle. But I just kind of get a smoother edge with this, and it makes sure there's absolutely nothing overhanging on the nail that could catch, okay? So now your wrap's on, all the excess is filed off. We're just gonna heat it one last time. One, two, three, four, five, however long you wanna take it. Um, and then either with your thumb and fingers or a rubber cuticle pusher or even your metal, metal cuticle spoon, just go over it one last time. Make sure everything is pressed down super tight and get one last good seal on everything. And then you are done. You're ready to go. If you have any questions 
or if you've never tried them before, shoot me a message and I am more than happy to go over it again in detail or even send you some samples to practice with, okay? Shoot me a message and let me know. Have a good day.